Hey, what is good my friends? Welcome back. So today we're going to be playing around with the Lano cooling pad. And this is the direct competitor to the two best laptop cooling docks out there. The Eats GT500 and Eats GT626 or 600, whichever model you pick. Now, this was sent to me by Lano and they just asked me to review it. Open the box and compare it to the Eats 500 and 600, they asked me. So, that's a pretty... That's, that's, that's pretty brave in my opinion, because those laptop cooling darks are great. But from what I've seen is that this thing is amazing. It's pretty much the same kind of build quality. We have the foam, very, very high quality foam. We have the laptop stoppers over here. And I'm not gonna spend too much time going around what kind of features it has. I just want to see how good the cooling pad is and how loud it is. So we have the feet, which you can flip twice. Like that. We have a little filter at the bottom so it doesn't suck in dust. Really nice. And let's see, we have RGB, which I'll show you in a second. We have the hub and it comes with a wall-powered charger. So let's hook it up. And the comparison is pretty simple, which we're gonna do today is that let the laptop play a little bit without any cooling docks, just like that. Let's just hide a little bit. There, there we go. So this is like normal laptop temperatures when we're just playing like this flat on a desk and well, these are the temperatures you can expect. Now, if we use a cooling dock, we kind of want to see improved performance. And from what I've seen is that when we hook up the Eats GT500 and Eats GT600, you get like 13 to 15 degrees difference. So let's see how much difference the Lano cooling pad makes. So let's put it into place. I have to work with the cables here. <laughs> okay, let's turn it on. Press for two seconds. Let me show you. So over here, you can adjust the speed. There's also RGB all around it. Pretty nice. It comes with a cable which you can hook up to your laptop to use the um, to use the hub. But let's just let's just see how good it does. And I'm also going to make a video comparing this to the Eats GT 500 and 600. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to the channel. So we're already seeing a little improvement, only running. 500 RPM and we're currently going up to 1000 RPM. Whoops. It's gonna run over there. And we can boost all the way up to 2800 RPM. So let's boost it up a little higher. So we're on 2000 RPM currently. And we're already seeing significant temperature drops. And we can boost it even further. Go up to 2500. Okay, but it's stuck here. There we go. Create a nice tight seal and all the way to the max, 2800. I mean, you can hear the sound, um, but it's definitely doing really good on the cooling side. So we're currently on 2800 RPM. And we just dropped the temperature by 
approximately maybe something like 15 to 16 degrees it's going down even further it takes some time to set in that is pretty dope What do you guys think? Is this cooler worth it? So let's get it off the cooling dock again and see what happens when we're not using it. So if you have an overheating laptop, so I'm just doing it <laughs> very ugly, unedited, but just so you can see that this is a real test. So we just removed the cooling dock here. The Lano cooling dock. By the way, I'm using the Asus Strix G16. Look at the temperatures going up again. It's steadily climbing again. So no quirks, nothing here, just, you know, the laptop cooler and the laptop itself. This is a real test. So you can see the Lano cooling dock actually significantly reduces your temperature. We're going back to 83 again. So with spikes up to 83 and as low as 66 degrees, which we just saw, and that is quite a big difference. So if you want to see the comparison between the Olano cooling dock, the Eats GT500 and the Eats GT600, subscribe to the channel and like this video and I'll see you in that video. Thanks so much for watching.